How's it going, everybody? So today on the channel, we'll be taking a look at the recently released Capcom Arcade Stadium that just released on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I downloaded Pack 2 and Pack 3 because of the games that it has on it. So this right here is Pack 2 with games on it like Strider, Destiny, Wars, Final Fight, 1941, Street Fighter 2, Captain Commando, Carrier Air Wing, Mega Twins, and a couple other ones that I'm not too familiar with. But this is going to be a fun, interesting pack to get into. And this right here is Pack 3 with games like Warrior's Fate, Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, um, you know, 1944, Giga Wing, Battle, you know, Battle Circuit, games like that, which are really fun games. Yes, I do have some of these games on other compilations like the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection and the Beat 'em Up Bundle that Capcom released not too long ago. But I like the style that this is in. And, you know, honestly, for $14.99 for each pack, it's not too bad of a deal. There's some really good games in here, and it's not too bad. Now, there is the free version where you can download it, and you get 1944 right out the gate, and you can try out some of the features in that and check out the arcade or the layout of the, the interface. So in this video, I just want to show you guys a few of the games when you unlock it, what it looks like, and what features they have. But before we get started, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button with bell notifications turned on. That way you can get notified when I post another video. So as you can see here, this is an arcade layout, like something you would see maybe in Japan with these, these style of arcades. This didn't look like the style of arcades that I grew up with in North America. But really cool. I love the way this is laid out. It looks like an old arcade. And you just scroll through. And as you can see, some of them are not unlocked. So you have to go to the eShop to unlock uh, that pack. So real quick here, we're just going to start up a little bit of Strider, the arcade version. And I'm going to go down to display settings because I want to show you guys just quick uh, some of the settings that you have. You have obviously got frames. You got presets. You got display size. Display orientation, which I thought was really cool on some of these uh, shooter games. But, you know... Strider to me is one of my all-time favorites. I loved playing this game on my Sega Genesis. It was one game that I start, you know, com started and completed um, as soon as I got a copy of this game. And you know, the arcade version to me was more difficult than the Sega Genesis version. Um, maybe it was just because I was using joystick and buttons, and I had to keep pumping in quarters, and it just made it more stressful. A lot of arcades were like that back then, <laughs> but. Uh, you know, I uh, thought the arcade version was a lot harder, but what's really cool about this is having a rewind feature. So now that I can rewind this game, um, you know, maybe I'll be able to complete it, you know, and be able to see the ending of the arcade version of Strider. So having some minimal online features is going to be really nice uh, to have in this compilation, and we'll see where it goes from here. There's all kinds of challenges that you can do, uh, score challenges, things of that nature. Now, just keep in mind, a lot of these games are already on compilations, especially the Street Fighter ones and all the beat-em-up ones. Like Captain Commando is on the um, the beat-em-up bundle that's, you know, the Capcom beat-em-up bundle. And then, of course, all the Street Fighters are on that Street Fighter 30th anniversary, and those already have online features where you can play with randoms online or your friends. So that is a nice feature. I hope that gets carried over onto this because a lot of this is just couch co-op for right now. Um, however, I did not find any any online features at all as of right now, just uh, online leaderboards and trying to get the best score and those kinds of things. That way you can document your score and it can go up on a leaderboard. So another feature that I thought was really cool is having the ability to speed up the gameplay and also slow it down. Now, I'm not a big fan of slowing down the gameplay, but being able to speed it up was kind of cool. I thought that was really fun, and that's going to be something to enjoy because it just gives it that little bit more challenge for me. Um, so this compilation of games um, was actually announced and released. To, well, not announced. I shouldn't say announced. It wasn't announced today, but it was um, shadow dropped during the Nintendo Direct today. You know, I thought it would have been a, something totally different. I was kind of hoping for Silk Song or something of that nature, something big that we've all been really looking forward to. Um, and then they shadow drop, but that didn't happen. There was a lot of good announcements today for sure, um, especially that uh, Skyward Sword HD. But this was also very exciting for me, someone who's a retro gamer that enjoys these kinds of games and then enjoyed these games in the arcade, um, at least most of them anyway. But, you know, this was uh, a, a nice announcement. And... Um, so I had to pick up at least two of the packs. There's one that's still kind of on the fence about the one with, 
You know, um, Bionic Commando which is in the pack, I believe. And then there's uh, Ghost and Goblins. Those are probably the only two that I was really interested in uh, playing. Oh, wait, Forgotten Worlds. Forgotten Worlds. Yeah, I want to I check that out, too, um, again. But other than that, I wasn't really too interested in pack one. But I digress. Now, another feature that I wanted to just quick quickly go over was the ability to change the border of the screen and it kind of give it a different orientation. Now you have your normal setting, you have your custom setting, and you also have these arcade cabinet settings for your, you know, your borders around your screen. And I thought that was kind of neat and you could change to make it look like more of a Japanese arcade or you could change it to look more of a stand up um uh, you know, just their traditional, I guess, arcade unit, you know, that I'm used to, I guess. Um, but I thought that was pretty neat. I thought that's a cool um, way of, sh you know, just celebrating these games and what they were like playing in the arcade. However, I do take it off. You know, I don't really necessarily like having the border around it. It's cool, like, for just a little bit, just to, you know, enjoy it just for maybe a couple rounds of Street Fighter 2. But... For the most part, I like the full screen, the normal screen, just set it on, leave it on there. And then that way, um, you know, I can, I just have better gameplay with that. But I don't know, some people might like it. So I thought that was kind of a cool feature. But yeah, having the uh, different, um, you know, borders is neat. There's a lot more options. Another thing that I really liked too was having the ability to look at some of the game information or uh, manuals. So I like that they're doing this. I love that they're doing these these extra little features in these compilations, you know, like showing artwork or showing the manuals or showing just, you know, basically information about the game, um, you know, like the move sets and things like that. It's, it's really nice to have that. And it just, you know, it brings back a lot of memories looking at the artwork and, you know, where these games kind of originated from. Now, one thing about me, like I've talked about in some of the other videos is that I am at heart a retro gamer, and even though my channel is mostly focused around newer information and things like that, but my passion for video games stemmed from quite a while ago. Um, you know, I played a lot of games in the arcades and I was there religiously, like on the weekends at the local bowling alley, playing games like, you know, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. You know, I mean, just who did, it? you know, if you grew up in the 90s, you were at the arcade playing games, man. It was. It was just a really good time for video games, you know, and experiencing these games when they first rolled into the arcade was just something else. I, I'll never forget seeing, you know, games like Strider, for instance. Strider, I remember it when it first came into the arcade and being able to play that when it was a brand new arcade cabinet was something really special. You know, and uh, I like that Capcom is doing these collections or a throwback. Um, to some really, really good arcades and some really good time um, in video game history. So it's nice that they're preserving it and giving it a, a new gamers a chance to check some of these games out. So, you know, going forward, it'll be nice to see if they add on some more packs on this, which I think they will. I don't think three packs is going to be enough. Maybe, maybe at the end of this year, they'll throw in a couple more packs or, you know, maybe maybe one one more pack i don't know who knows there's a lot of arcades that capcom produced and they were the top dog in my opinion in the arcade back in the 90s they're one of the top dogs anyway you know and um so you know i do recommend this this kind of these kind of compilations i have almost every one that capcom has put it out even back in like the 360 days with the capcom classic collections you know and uh or actually i think that was on my original xbox but anyway um, yeah, I, uh, I really enjoy these collections and it's nice to have these. And now on the switch, I can take them with me on the go wherever I'm at. So yeah, I, it's too bad that they didn't release a physical version of this. Maybe one day they will, um, you know, all of them all together, um, in a physical form. But like I was saying at the beginning of the video, guys, you can buy these for $14.99 a piece, but you can download at least 1944 uh, to play. If you want to just give that a try, you can check out some of the options. You can check the uh, the interface and the way that the interface looks with like the arcade 90s look. Um, really, really cool. And I highly recommend checking. Just giving them a try at least. 
because um, they're really fun to play. And then also all the different options like the orient screen orientation and things of that nature is really fun to have uh, some some different options. Uh, to enjoy these games um, but anyways let me know down in the comments below if you plan on picking this up or if you want to give it a try um, or if you have and you like it or you don't like it I would love to talk to you guys in the comments down below and I just got to get a shout out to everybody that has come into the channel as of lately um, you know and, and commenting and just supporting it's been really cool and the channel is growing really fast all of a sudden and it's just amazing and I'm blessed. I really am. And it's really fun to talk about video games with you guys. I really enjoy it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And, you know, maybe share this with a buddy. Maybe share it with one of your retro gamer friends that love these kinds of games and experiences. And let them know about the Capcom um, Arcade Stadium. Because I think they would really dig it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Okay.